Hi again, everybody. Thanks for uh, being with me this week. Um, as we reach the end of the week, let me nudge into verse 5 of Ephesians uh, chapter 1. He predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. As I mentioned the other day, the whole topic of predestination is huge uh, and is, is something that we all struggle to understand. Uh, and I don't really think this is the forum for us to get into um, a, a great sort of in-depth discussion for that. These are reflections, after all, not theological treaties. However, let me say that what I think is clear from verse 5 is that God wants to adopt us. He wants to adopt us to sonship. Now, this isn't a sexist comment, and it's important that we recognise that this, that here the word that is being used, into, uh, translated as sonship, literally means that. It doesn't mean childhood. That's because in the culture and society that these words were first written, sons, rightly or wrongly, sons had many more rights to an inheritance than daughters did. Now, we can argue about the, um, the, the, the uh, decency of that, uh, for as long as you like, but it's a simple fact. It's a simple statement of fact. So, the the um, the the inheritance rights that were given to sons who were adopted were far better, far greater than those that were um, uh, were permitted to uh, daughters uh, to to uh, girls. That's important because it is important later on that we understand that by God's desire to adopt us, all of us, male and female, to um, the, the rights and uh, joys of sonship, he wants all of us, male and female, to enjoy the rights and the joys of his inheritance. God didn't just reluctantly want to give us the, the bare minimum. He doesn't offer us the crumbs from under his table to coin a phrase. He doesn't reluctantly and begrudgingly give us a few scraps to wear and crumbs to eat. He wants us to have the fullness of inheritance that a son would have from a very generous and very, very wealthy father in that time. And he wants all of this for you and for me. Isn't that amazing? Uh, we were, we've been reflecting all week, haven't we, on what it means to be chosen by him, how he thought about us from before the creation of the world, how he looks upon us in his field of vision, in his sight, with love, and now how he has uh, planned for us to be adopted. His desire is for us to be become a full part of his family and to have all the elements of right and uh, justice and love that an adopted son would have. Male or female, that's for you. And that's available to you simply uh, by accepting Jesus as Lord and you, understanding him to be the way to the Father, the only way to the Father, the only way to this glorious bounty of the Father's riches. So may you be secure in that knowledge today. Uh, may you live in a way that, re that just reflects the glory of that truth this weekend. God bless you.